right, everybody, it's Friday. It's time to fire it up. Fire it up, Friday. Check this out. 1960 Cadillac Fleetwood Limousine. But before we go any further, I want to thank all the vets for their service. Thank a vet. Take them out to dinner. Now, look at this. 1960 Cadillac. Let's show you the engine. 390 cubic inch. Had about 345 horsepower. Uh, we haven't done much to it. We put a Edelbrock carburetor on here. We got our hillbilly gas tank here. The original fuel pump still pumping. You see the AC compressor, how big they were back then? It says frigid air on it. That's kind of cool. Set a battery in here. Obviously we don't have a radiator. We don't need it right now. We done pulled a couple snakes out of here and we filed the points. I got this car from a gentleman. He said it used to be owned by Loretta Lynn. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we never got to talk to her about it. Uh, however, some people that worked for her came over here and said, yeah, that was her car. So the roof of the car was all rusted out. So we cut the roof off and we started cutting all the floor out. We're going to build a tiny house with this car. So if you see a, a Cadillac coming down the road with a little tiny house on the back, this would probably did be this car. And that's about it. First and foremost, it's Friday. Fire it up, Friday. Let's see if this thing will move on its own power. Long. Oh, check out my hillbilly seat. You know, had to put something in there. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm good. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I'm hung up. Ooh, that metal sharp. Ow, son of a... Okay, oh! You can see where we've been cutting out in here. All this back here. All right, folks. This could be... tells me is I need you to fix these leaks <laughs> think you can handle it oh yeah and now say we got an oil leak now yeah. yep oh. but anyhow the car runs we can fix that we can fix leaks we can make a battery tray because obviously we have no battery no more so uh we got to get to work we'll see y'all on another friday right here at possum holler garage and we'll see what happens